Hi, I'm Uncle Scott from the Speakeasy Bakery. Today we're going to show you how to make French baguettes. Four ingredients. Flour, water, salt, and yeast. So the first thing we're going to do is combine the dry ingredients. We're going to scale it out and measure by weight. So we've got some bread flour here. It's got a high gluten, which helps with the bread rise. We're going to measure out 454 grams. Now that's going to give us three pretty decent size baguettes. A teaspoon and a half of salt and a teaspoon and a half of instant yeast. And then we want to measure out 320 grams of 70 degree bottled water. So mix the dry ingredients, then go ahead and add the water and give it a hand mix just to get it enough together so that when you turn on the, the mixer, your flour won't go flying around. On a KitchenAid, we're going to give it five minutes at the lowest setting, and then another two to four minutes, depending upon how it's looking to us, on the next setting up. Okay, so the dough's been going for just about seven minutes total. Should have kind of a tacky feel to it. Shouldn't be, shouldn't stick to your skin. It's still pretty, a pretty wet dough though. I'm gonna get it out on the counter. So what we wanna do here is give it one last sort of an envelope fold. So stretch it out a little bit there. You can add a little bit of uh, flour if it's real sticky. Right now it's kinda a little bit sticky. So we're gonna give it just a touch around the edges, not even actually on the dough. And then we're gonna give it that envelope fold. So one over that way, one over that way, and then come back over the top, and then shape it into a more or less spherical bowl. Okay. We're gonna cover the bowl, and we're gonna let that rise for about an hour. It should more or less double in size. It's gonna get real puffy. And then we'll go to the next step, which is shaping. Okay, it's been about an hour, so we got a pretty good rise. Stuck a little bit, so you can just scrape that down. No problem there. Now, we're gonna get this out onto the counter. Okay. So we're gonna give it into three approximately equal pieces. You can weigh it if you like, if you wanna be, you know, get them real uniform, you can do that. Okay, so right now, I'm gonna do it one at a time, and we're gonna, once we shape it, we're gonna put it into this linen cloth it's been, it's been embedded with flour, so it won't stick, and we're gonna use that for the final proof. So we're gonna take the baguette, and we're gonna come over once, pat it down, you wanna knock a little bit of the gas that's developed out of it. We're gonna come over again, tap it down, And then one last time, if it starts to stick, just use your bench knife. Don't be afraid. Okay, now we want to roll it. And you want to give it nice even pressure from the center to the sides. Try to get it to a nice even shape all the way down, consistent. Now, the trick is to get it without sticking over to the couche. So just in a very quick motion, tuck and roll and carry over. If it gets a little bit misshapen, you can just fix it up. Then give it a ridge here, it'll separate us from the next one. Move on to your next one. And once again, over once, over again, Knock the gas out, 
and over one last time. This is the part that everybody's afraid of because it sticks. You just got to work right through it. Once you get your shape, transfer it over, give it another ridge, and you're on to the last one. We're going to let that proof or rise for about 30 minutes, could be as much as 45. When we come back, we're going to give it the poke test and that'll tell us whether it's ready or not to go in the oven. Okay, it's been about a half an hour. We're going to check on our baguettes and see if they're ready to go. If it's underproofed and you poke it, the dough bounces right back very quickly. If it's overproofed, it doesn't bounce back at all. Just right, you poke it and it bounces back slowly. So let's give it that test. We'll give it so that's coming back slowly. So that's pretty good. That's going to work. All right. So the next step is to actually get it into the oven. And again, the handling of it can get a little tricky. But the trick is to, to go quickly, but, not, but don't rush. I like to use parchment paper because it makes the transfer into the oven a little bit easier. Because you open that hot oven. 450 degree oven, you don't want to spend a lot of time right there. Transfer each one over just as quickly as you can. If it gets a little misshapen, that's just rustic. So the last step before it goes into the oven is scoring. And scoring allows the, the bread to expand so it can get it to its full rise and gives you that nice open crumb. So the trick to scoring, I'm using a half straight razor blade. Basically what you want is a series of parallel, almost parallel uh, slashes, about a quarter inch thick with a, just a slight angle to it. And they should overlap each other. ready to go in the oven here. Uh, again, 450 degrees, it's pretty hot. So inside the oven, I've got uh, what's called a hotel pan that I'm going to cover these with for the first 10 minutes or so. What that does is create a steamy environment and allows the bread to rise uh, before the crust starts to form. So it inhibits the crust from forming, but it gives that, that nice little rise. Once you take, we're going to take it off after about 10 minutes, and then the crust will start to turn brown. So here we go. Slide that in, put the hotel pan on, close her up. All right, so that's going to get 10 minutes with the hotel pan on and about another 10 minutes with the hotel pan off. If you want to, you can take the internal temperature. It should be somewhere between 195 and 205 degrees, um, and that's when it's done. It's been about 20 minutes total. We took the hotel pan off at 10, so we're going to go in and get those baguettes. Et voila, baguette. All right, so we're going to wait at least an hour for yeasted bread. If you eat it too soon when it's still warm, it, uh, there's still some chemical things going on, so it can upset your stomach, so you don't want to do that. Okay, it's been about an hour. It's time to eat. Let's grab our trusty bread knife. Let's pick that one and give it a nice angle cut. And we have some nice hole structure in there. Nice piece of baguette bread just for you. Find the recipe for this at thespeakeasybakery.com. Uh, give us a thumbs up, subscribe. We've got more on the way. And we can also be found on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.